Hey guys, what's up? It's the Chaos Prophet, and today I have some Battlefield 4 for you. Uh, you're seeing Parasol Storm, and I am don't do very well in this uh, gameplay. There's a lot of running. I really don't like this map too much. Uh, it is better on Conquest, but uh, either way, it's just there's not enough players. But that's kind of what I'm wanting to talk about, is uh, the Xbox 360 and the PS3 are uh, kind of holding back uh, Battlefield 4. As you know, there are lots of problems with uh, Battlefield 4. And one of the problems is, is it doesn't have enough memory to hold 64 players. You only hold 24, if you don't know, is, is the max. And uh, that might be okay for domination, though even domination is... Uh, 10 players, 10 versus 10, and so that's not very good. I don't know why they didn't make it 24, but that's, I guess, the way they wanted to go. But it doesn't have enough memory to hold more players, and so that's really holding it back because it is a really good experience uh, on the Xbox One and the PS4 and the PC, of course. I was playing the other night with one of the guys that I've uh, met in a lobby, and uh, we played a few times before, and we were playing on uh, the China Rising DLCs and just the regular maps, just having fun and killing everybody, sitting in tanks and helicopters and, and doing whatever. And I've been playing Engineer. I'm using the, the AK-5C, or whatever the hell it's called now. Uh, so I've been playing a lot of Engineer on the Conquest. I don't usually play Engineer, but now I have been because I've been playing a lot more Conquest. Uh, but, yeah, I was playing with him, and we were just wrecking and, and having fun and just killing everybody that was trying to uh, blow up our tanks and stuff, and that really felt like a Battlefield moment. It was just me and him, but, uh, and I have other guys that I can play with, and we haven't done that yet. Usually I'm on my own. But you don't get that experience all the time with 24 players with such big maps. It's just, it doesn't happen. 64 players, or even 20 versus 20, you would have a lot more boats and a lot more uh, planes and jets and uh, helicopters and everything else that you would just have more people to shoot at and more people to back you up. Uh, so that's one thing that the 360 holds back on. Uh, it also doesn't uh, allow us to have certain things in it. Uh, like I talked about in another video, they're going to bring the riot shield into Battlefield 4. But apparently, the 360 and the PS3 can't hold where we can hold it with one hand and have a pistol in the other. Even though Call of Duty does it, but uh, Battlefield 3 or 4 excuse me, can't seem to do it. And that is a problem. So they have to make it a two-hander because the 360 and the PS3 are holding it back. By the way, I am on 360. I will be getting an Xbox One at some point. Uh, hopefully soon. Uh, but I'm not sure too, too much when that's going to happen. Uh, there was another thing, and now I can't really think of it. But there's just a lot of things that the 360 and the PS3 basically pulled it back in. Uh, the maps, even on Conquest that we have, uh, there's bigger versions of it on the PC and I probably the Xbox One and the Xbox 360. Uh, so that kind of sucks. I, I wish we had. It only gives you like one extra point or, or uh, you know, one extra flag maybe. But uh, still, it would be nice if it had that. The other thing is, is I heard that they're gonna start doing uh, test, test servers. And uh, also, if you guys didn't know, they do have servers right now that you can buy for like up to 90 days. Uh, I might be buying a server. I don't know. Uh, you guys can definitely play on it. I'm going to be naming it the Chaos Prophet if I can. So, uh, there you go. But, uh, they're doing t test servers on the PC. And they can't do it on the 360 or the PS3 or any of the consoles because you have to pay uh, Sony and Microsoft every time you do an update, which I didn't know. I found out from another larger YouTuber that just made a video on this, pretty much. Uh, so, I didn't know that, and that kind of 
sucks. I know they had to go through a waiting process, but I didn't know you had to pay them for the update. Uh, so they couldn't update it every time we found bugs. So they're doing a whole bunch of test servers that are going to be doing uh, patches in the future. So that's it's cool, but uh, we won't be able to do that. So that's unfortunate. But all in all, the 360 is holding us back. The PS3 is holding us back. Uh, it, it's really unfortunate the way that uh, this has come about. But yeah, guys, I'm pretty much running out of time. Let me know what you guys uh, think of the 360 and the PS3 holding us back. If it bothers you or not, I do have a guy that says it doesn't really bother him. But, uh, you know, that's that's up to you guys. So just